Welcome to another episode of Digging Into Life. In this episode, we have, uh, let me set the tone. Uh, my father and I had just finished five or six hours of unloading the truck, uh, the first drive into PEI. Um, it was now 3 a.m. We'd crossed the bridge back into New Brunswick, and we were looking for a place to crash. So I found one online. It said it was like $87 a night. I, I was like, just let's find a place in Moncton and, and get some sleep. And so I called up, and they didn't have that room available. They had another $140 room available. He then said, uh, let me see if there's anything cheaper. And he found another room that was, uh, I believe it was uh, $67 or something like that. And um, I'm like, okay, great. Um, I thought it was, I was speaking to the guy at the Days Inn. <clears throat> now, he said, uh, we got this room. I said, yes. He proceeded to ring through my credit card and get me all set up. And then he said, it's actually in a different hotel. So when he said different hotel, I thought just a different Days Inn. It turned out that it was a thrift lodge, which must have changed hands recently because it's still on the Google Maps and uh, even on the Thrift Lodge website as being a Thrift Lodge by Wyndham, but pictures of a Howard Johnson's. Um, so here's a little bit of what we found when, uh, when we arrived at the Thrift Lodge in Moncton. And I couldn't get in the door at the front and ended up coming in a side door and unlocking the front so that my dad could come in and check out the sketchiness yes, of what we found. We're trying to find the dude that's running the place tonight, but he's not here. All we want to do is sleep, man. We'd walked around there a bit, looked into the main office there. You can see room. all the security cameras. You can see all the security cameras at the front Wait, desk here. You can see that I, I am in the right place no, because here. my name is on the computer. You see anything? So the front office no, software has me listed yeah, for room yeah, 11. The and the there was there right nothing the that out. we could do to find it, like anybody. So... Uh, we'd taken a peek around. There was rooms 80 to 7, 80 to 90 or something upstairs, it said. Um, Dad took a look out the back. There was no room 11 anywhere. Couldn't find room 11. So maybe, Camera, like, why, why was I booked in a room that didn't seem to exist? Noticing that, that pick there, there seems to be a lot of rooms out of order. So it's like, condemned? What, what are we looking at? And we called yelled couldn't get anybody so we got on the phone and i phoned the exact same number that i'd called before and uh here's some of of what i got when i, hey Josh, when I got on the I, phone I got a real problem i i booked a room and uh with you guys about 40 minutes ago got into moncton and now i'm at the site and and there's like nobody here in the lobby and i see my name on the computer so I know I'm in the right spot. <laughs> uh, there's, there's nobody. Uh, sorry, what hotel are you at? Uh, this is, uh, what was it, 10? Let me just see. It's 1062 Mountain Road in Moncton. It's a Econo, what is it, Econo Lodge? Okay. Um, I should be at the Days Inn further down. I'm at, yeah, I'm at the Thrift Lodge. You're, okay. Yeah, uh, it's, sorry, it's. This is the Days Inn, the, the, one, the hotel that you called. We're not the Thrift Lodge. Oh. Do you need a room, is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, and I, and I, well, I called this number an hour ago, and the guy said that he was, he transferred me to a, a different location so that I could get the room that I wanted. And now I'm at the thrift lodge. So obviously there's nobody working, I guess. No, 
Oh, did I get the job? (laughs) 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 Like, (laughs) that is super weird. Okay, so let's try and figure your place to stay out tonight. Yeah, let's Um, stay. And and is my credit card information safe here? Oh, they've got your credit card information and everything. Well, somebody took it. I see. I see it in the machine here. It said it does say XXX, and the end of my. So I don't know whether it ends up here or whether you, the person who took my call originally has it. But all right, I'm gonna call them in the morning and tell them that it's like they're, a their door should be locked. Our doors are locked here. B, you can't get behind the desk as a guest to view everybody's credit card numbers and stuff because there is a way that I can do it. I don't know if the system's the same, but I can double click on the credit card number and just write it down. It'll show the whole thing. So that's really not, uh, not secure. So Josh tried what he could do to get in touch with anybody there, but there was no way. Uh, it just phoned me uh, at that little office and Josh set us up with a room at the days Inn. So we drove down the road, a bit to the days in and and checked in there for the night uh, it was five in the morning by the time we hit our room and we were up uh up and out just after 10 late enough to miss the breakfast but then we were on the road day we're on our way again we had a short rest last night we finally got into our room around 5 a.m and I slept till 9 9 30 so it's 10 o'clock now we're on our way uh, last night was interesting I'll play some clips it's always good Josh helped us out a lot and uh, appreciate that and uh, well we ended up paying more I do hope to take that up with management why they would send us to a sketchy place with absolutely nobody there and we had full control it was just it's crazy but we're on our way again another another crazy day so beautiful let's hope we can get without having too much extra drama here we go go. while traveling back the DEF blow indicator came on and we had no idea what that was had to google it check it out and then it turned out that it sold at the gas station for just under twenty dollars for a bottle and we topped up the container on the side of the truck now def turns out to be something that's uh burned looks like water somehow during the nine liters in order to lower the amount of emissions it looks like water and um we just poured it Maybe in. Maybe it'll bring the leaves back to your tree. Back on the road again. On the dashboard. On the dashboard leaves, yeah. Had only a few hours sleep the night before. We decided to find a hotel early before dark came, so that we could get a full night's sleep and time it so that we arrive at the rental agency um, in time to. got up early enough in order to have the packaged breakfast that they had were uh, old Spunkermeyer wasn't my uh, choice not a big cinnamon Danish person uh, but uh, the wrapped eggs were nice and uh, nice to have and uh, the coffee uh, ground its own beans and wasn't bad it just took a little while then we're on the road with the machine that's building it. Here's the machine that logs. I guess they bring it out and lift it out with that. 
it was pretty much just a straight run to Bolton and turn of the truck and head home. Then to turn around and start setting up and get my permits and process papers ready to go for my second and final trip out to the new house. I hope you like and subscribe this video and I'll see you on the journey out and moving into my new home. Talking about the freedom. Uh, uh, uh.